Hello everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel Mission Ed Physics Exam. And guys, in today's video, we are going to do the discussion about the last 15 days strategy. So, what should be the last 15 days strategy for all the students who will consider it, even if somebody has already completed the preparation, okay, or somebody has recently started the preparation. So, if you have completed your preparation till now, or if you are just going to starting your preparation okay and this is like the initial uh, time when you are doing your preparation it, these are just the initial days then what you should do so we are going to consider each and everything in today's session and it will be our last 15 days strategy now you will say uh, that okay there are going to be more than 15 days and all that's good okay so we are considering approximately 15 days for next or upcoming 15 days you can follow this strategy and even if you like it for the remaining days even you can consider the same strategy or if you are having one or two more days uh, like more than 15 days so guys in that case you can completely devote those days for your uh, revision part okay that would be best now let's consider it if you are someone who has already completed the preparation then guys for you it's gonna be simple and easy strategy because you have already completed your preparation then you just need to focus on revision and the previous year questions the approach of solving those questions even everything when we say previous year questions we didn't we just don't mean uh, that you need to solve them or you just need to uh, just solve the questions from the topics you have completed but along with that it also includes the approach of solving the questions uh, the the thing is gonna be this like are you getting the ideas when you are just going to read the question is it clear to you if yes that's good so when you are doing previous year questions don't just try to consider that okay i need to use the formula and i'm getting the answer but everything you need to consider uh, look at the options the type of options given to you accordingly just consider the steps you will take okay the formula you will use and everything and that's how you should proceed okay in any question also uh, when you are doing the revision here on the everyday basis guys what you need to do you need to revise all the subjects if you can't do the revision of all the subjects on everyday basis at least on the alternate days you should try to do it that means within two days you need to complete nine subjects revision once within two days you have completed all the nine subjects preparation next two days again nine subjects you need to complete in that that means you should not stop at any point that okay once i have done or completed the revision and that's it now done no you should keep on doing the revision if possible 15 times okay complete revision or if possible 25 times or 20 times depending on how much time you are having and how much preparation you have already completed you can consider it so your main focus now should be to do the revision again and again if you have already completed your preparation the one more thing if i'm going to talk about that's gonna be that you should not consider so many new things at this point of time just whatever you have prepared try to consider those things completely okay and try to make a good command on those points okay now those who are starting their preparation what they should do let's talk about that that point now if you are just going to start your preparation here in that case guys you are having almost near about 15 days the point is in these 15 days what you should follow and which will help you to get the better results and the good results so that is start doing or solving the previous year questions from 2011 to 2019 but there will be a way there will be a strategy which you have to follow now to cover up major portion within 15 days so first thing is you will start with the previous year questions but sometimes the students are going to face difficulty when they, they are going to start with the previous year questions first question will be from one subject okay then uh, second question will be from another subject like subject one subject two like that so subjects are gonna get changed okay for each and every question one by one 
then students are going to have this thing that when we directly solve the previous year questions we are not getting confident and we are not getting to know about the concepts we are going to prepare for different different subjects so what we should do so basically guys again for this one it's gonna be a strategy you need to make and like you will follow it and if you are going to do that it will be very much helpful for you now the point is what you exactly need to do you need to uh, just keep one notebook with you when you are starting to solve the previous year questions so you need one notebook and in that notebook there should be enough number of pages how many pages you actually need so that you will be able to allot approximately uh, 25 pages 30 pages or if you write like you you write just uh, that you need less space to write so much information that kind of writing you are having then it's okay even the 10 pages you are going to consider for each subject each subject one by one okay then it is okay so it's up to you and i would i would suggest you that if possible consider 30 sub uh, pages for each subject per subject in that notebook if possible if not exactly 30 you can consider 20 25 because see the notebook you are having the number of pages you need to write some information some formula and all it will be different for every student okay so i am giving you an estimate like okay if 30 pages are there that's good okay per subject you need to consider it in that notebook write the nine subjects or even if you want to include the general aptitude part the part a questions and their approach and answers too you can consider 10 uh, like uh, 10 partitions in it how 30 pages the first 30 pages let's say for mathematical second 30 pages these are the initial 30 pages done then classical mechanics or quantum mechanics okay 30 pages again then similarly the next 30 pages in this way like for all the nine subjects you need to make the partitions in your notebook itself done once you are going to do this thing what do you need to do next after considering it in this way okay when you, are, you will start solving your previous year questions now what you need to do let's say you are solving first question and that is from the mathematical physics part the formula you are applying in that question focus on that formula if you want to go through some more important points related to the topic from which this formula you are having you can even go through that uh, like topic from any reference book or you can search for it it will be good okay or if you are not having more time much more time what you can do you can directly note down this formula here in your mathematical physics section and one by one in this way you will keep on doing and, and what you have to do with this thing also don't just focus on formula no it will not work in that way you have to read the question relate the formula if you already don't know about that you should now at that point of time try to observe it relate with the given question get the concept well if you have to devote some time for that particular question it's okay but when you are moving towards next question you are going to start the next question the first question or the question you have solved before that that should be clear to you it is something which matters a lot and in this way when you will do then uh, from 2011 to 2019 year like you are having all the previous year questions if you will get them done then you will have a good command on so many concepts you will be familiar with so many important topics and their formulae from where there are great chances that you can expect the questions the same thing you need to do and don't skip the questions like that that okay the first one is mathematical then classical so you will do classical later on because in this way it will be time taking to do the selection of the uh, subjects and the related questions so it's better to go one by one okay the point is the another point i would like to tell you here so in this way i think you will have good notes ready with you okay before your exam and with these notes you need to do the revision every day if possible try to do it twice okay whatever information or the formula you have already noted down in your this notebook that is your formula notebook or quick revision notebook then what you need to do you need to try to revise every uh, information every formula every concept you have noted down at least twice in a day okay everything whatever you will note down now since it will be like like the recent time you have noted down all the things so you will have good command on them and it will not take time too much time to do the revision of everything that's how you will be able to do it then next point if i'm going to talk about the next point guys uh, that is that you don't need to solve all the questions from each and every question paper because it's like you are having the uh, let's say 
the choice okay and that is not required that anybody needs to do all the questions which are there in the question paper but you have to be selective about the most important and most expected type of questions okay so if you uh, if i'm saying okay you don't need to do all of them if you are finding something very much difficult and different one you can consider that like okay i will either do it later on or just mark it and just check it later on after completing rest of the part that's what you can do okay and the other thing is don't skip the most important or most expected topic based questions in this manner how you will get to know about it it is important or not let's say you have skipped some question and it is from a particular topic you read that question and you thought like oh it's difficult or it's different you left it okay you just keep it as it is and you move to the next one now the point is when you are doing the next question in that case like the next few more questions you have solved the next paper you are doing now okay next paper you are doing and after that next one and you are going to find it that based on that particular concept or fo uh, formula or topic you are having the questions which have been asked later on as well they have been repeated they have been asked so frequently so you should cover up that part too that is important okay that's how you will be able to get to know about this thing so guys even in the remaining time that means within 15 days you will be able to prepare very well with this thing this is strategy i provided you right now and it will be very much helpful for you while if i'm going to talk about both the categories that is completed uh, those who have completed their preparation and those who are starting their preparation guys for both of you it's going to be important to analyze your preparation time to time try to take your own test test means you can either note down some of the uh, topics or formulae okay somewhere like uh, just write the topics itself not the formulae okay how you will be able to consider it your test so whatever you find difficult like let's say today you have noted down some of the topic names in a, on any page or in any notebook okay and the other topic is even there you have noted it down okay in this way you are doing it for next five days after five days you need to just note down the corresponding formula and that's how you'll be able to analyze like how well you have prepared how well you know about those formula and that's it this is how the analysis will be done okay time to time and you will be able to know about this thing that are you finding difficulty still in any of those formula which you are finding difficult if yes you can uh, revise it once again you can just focus on that more okay and you will be able to make a good command on that particular thing so guys i hope that this strategy the information i've shared with you the the discussion we have done in this video will be helpful for all of you and thank you so much everyone for watching this video till the end and guys what you need to do you need to know one thing that this is the time which can help you to improve to just make your results better stop thinking about anything else right now that what will be the results will you be able to do well if you are preparing in this much time or that much time okay guys you will be able to do well just believe in yourself and it is possible you can do very well okay and guys thank you so much everyone for joining this session for watching this video till the end now i'm just going to uh, provide you one more information here but before that guys if you are new on this channel that is mission at physics exam you can subscribe this channel by clicking on the subscribe button below this video also after that you will get a bell icon there you can click on that to get the notification for the new videos i will provide you on this channel that is mission at physics exam another thing guys uh, you can even share the videos with your friends those who are preparing for the exam because these videos will even help them to prepare very well for their exam too so yeah you can share it you can like the video you can subscribe the channel also guys now i'm going to provide you the information about the unacademy plus subscription so guys if you want to attend more regular live classes by all the top educators we are having on unacademy plus for your upcoming csir net physics exam preparation then you can take unacademy plus subscription also by using and by applying the referral code that is anjali arora as it is mentioned here there should be no space in between the spelling should be same that's how you need to write it and apply it and get the 10 percent discount in the total unacademy plus subscription amount if i'm going to talk about the benefits you will get after taking the subscription guys so you will be able to uh, attempt mock test the mock test analysis sessions will be there doubt clearing sessions will be there you will get the guidance by all the top educators and that's how you will be able to prepare very well for your upcoming exam also guys one more thing that on unacademy learning app we are going to have revise india series okay that will start in november you can even attend those sessions uh, these sessions will help you to prepare very well uh, for your upcoming exam 
also guys uh, revision courses are soon going to start in november so yeah it will even be helpful for you there are going to be so many revision courses so many practice courses guys even at this point of time if you are going to take the an academy plus subscription it will be very much helpful for all of you and you will be able to do the best possible preparation in the remaining time before the exam so i hope all these things together will help you a lot to prepare very well for your upcoming exam thank you so much everyone for watching this video till the end also whenever you are going to take the anacademy plus subscription you can use and apply the referral code that is anjali arora as it is mentioned here no space in between that's how you need to write it and apply it to get the 10% discount in the total anacademy plus subscription amount thank you so much everyone for watching this video till the end thank